nested if functions. Last time we used an if function to determine whether or not a student passed a course. This time we'll use nested if functions to determine the letter grades. We nest if functions by using them as either the true action or the false action of another if function. Okay, we're going to use nested ifs to have our spreadsheet determine what letter grade our students earn. So, we're going to use the if function, so we'll type equals if, left parentheses, click on the corresponding percentage at J2 is equal to or greater than 0.9 for 90 percent. 90 percent will be our A, so I'll put in a comma, and then the label A, or an A in quotes. Then another comma. Now what do we want to do if we don't have 90 percent? We want to keep testing, so I'll put in a new if statement. Now this is our nested if. So just like the previous if, I have to give it parameters within parentheses. So I'll say if J2 is greater than or equal to 0.8 for 80%, we have a B. Then another comma. Well, we've got more than A's and B's. We've got to take care of C's, D's, and F's. So I need another if. J2 is greater than or equal to 0.7 for 70%, comma. That would be my C, so I'll create my label C comma. I still have another test because we know it's not an A, not a B, not a C, but it could be a D or an F. So put in another if function looking at J2. If J2 is equal to or greater than 0.6 for 60 percent, we have a D. Now, on the false side of the chest for 60%. We know that if it's not a D, it's got to be an F. So we'll just plug that label in at this time, and I will need four right parentheses. Okay, Mike earned a D. Let's drag it down. The second one, Dick, has a C. Bob, Mark, and Tom all have B's, and Natalie has an A. Now, we want to test for all possibilities, so let's change a couple of Mike's scores to zeros. And yes, it does pick up on the F. So all cases work whether the student earns an A, B, C, whatever. Anyone can learn to use Office productivity software, including you.